we measured approximately half a gram of copper turnings. We put the copper in a 250 milliliter beaker and added 5 milliliters of concentrated nitric acid. In this reaction, solid copper reacted with nitrate ions and hydrogen ions to form deadly nitrogen dioxide gas, cupric ions, and water. After the reaction, we diluted the solution with 100 milliliters of distilled water to form a light blue solution. With the addition of 30 milliliters sodium hydroxide, the cupric ions react to form copper 2 hydroxide. After the heating of the copper 2 hydroxide almost to boiling and the addition of some extra sodium hydroxide, black copper oxide was formed. We allowed the copper oxide to settle out and decanted the excess liquid several times in order to remove all aqueous sodium nitrate. We added 15 milliliters of 6 molar sulfuric acid which allowed the copper oxide to react with hydrogen ions, forming cupric ions and water. We massed approximately 2 grams of 30 mesh zinc on the toilet balance and added it to our solution of cupric ions. The zinc slowly reduced the cupric ions to solid copper and reacted with the sulfuric acid to produce hydrogen gas. Next, we added 20 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid to remove any remaining zinc. We washed and decanted our copper several times to remove all supernatant solution. We added 5 milliliters of acetone to help dry out the copper and finish drying it on a hot plate to produce 0 0.4882 grams of solid copper. Using a recovery mass of 0 0.4882 grams, we calculated a 97.3% yield from our original 0 0.5011 grams of copper. We successfully completed the objectives of the lab by recovering 97.3% yield of copper. The lab could be made better by using 35 milliliters of sodium hydroxide instead of the original 30. Overall, it was a success.